And there now with winter weather in the forecast, counties are preparing to help protect people, pets and property as KTRE's Terry White reports, along with residents, local emergency management and homeless shelters are planning for what's to come. When you have a shelter, you need to make sure that it's that it is running at all times. Temperatures dropping, heavy rain, ice and snow can all put residents in a position where preparation is needed to stay safe. Family Crisis Center of East Texas program director Glenna Harkness says ahead of cold winter weather, they have no choice but to be prepared. The Family Crisis Center serves survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, and so we do have a shelter. Safety is so important at our facility. We are doing everything we can to maintain that safety. Harkness says they'll be making sure their generators run properly, stocking up on batteries, and even moving up start times for employees if needed. Angelina County Emergency Management Coordinator Ricky Connor says the county will be playing it by ear and monitoring weather conditions before acting out any plans. At God's Hill Ministry Shelter in Lufkin, Executive Director Martin Baker says they're well stocked with coats and blankets for the increase in intake the cold weather will bring. We've already had quite a few women come in. Our women's dorm is pretty much full right now. Men's dorm is uh, not anywhere close to being full, but we'll probably see an increase of those with the cold weather also. Sabine County Emergency Management Coordinator David Roach says in the watch phase, watching as weather develops and getting notices from weather partners. Tyree White, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Now, for those in need of a list of local shelters, you can scan the QR code on your screen or visit our website. Click the link. You'll find it in our big red box.